Hello friends, welcome to Knowledge Bites. Friends, today we will study leukomyoid reaction. We will get to know what is this leukomyoid reaction and we will get to know the difference between the leukomyoid reaction and the cancer cells. So this leukomyoid reaction, it occurs in response to chronic infection. It occurs in response to chronic infection. Chronic infections like sepsis, infective endocarditis, pneumonia and tuberculosis all these are the chronic infections and in response to these chronic infections our body will produce more amount of WBC and the condition is known as leukocytosis and we all know this leukocytosis is not the cancerous condition and leukomyoid reaction is leukocytosis and we know leukemia is a cancerous condition but still we have to differentiate this leukomyoid reaction from leukemia in leukomyoid reaction leukocytosis is occurring and there is very much increase in WBC count that is more than 50,000 more than 50,000 WBC cells per millimeter cube so you can see that it is appearing like a cancerous condition but it is not the cancerous condition and we have to differentiate this leukocytosis from leukemia we have to differentiate leukomyoid reaction from this leukemia now we are going to differentiate this leukomyoid reaction from leukemia in leukomyoid reaction the cells are normal the cells are mature we are talking about the WBC cells so therefore WBC cells are also mature therefore neutrophil is also mature the mature WBC the mature neutrophil synthesizes neutrophil alkaline phosphatase they produces more amount of neutrophil alkaline phosphatase as compared to immature neutrophil now talking about the leukemia the leukemia cells are abnormal and the cells are immature so there will be more amount of immature WBC therefore there will be more amount of immature neutrophil and this immature neutrophil will synthesize less amount of neutrophil alkaline phosphatase as compared to leukomyoid reaction mature WBC produces mature neutrophil produces more amount of neutrophil alkaline phosphatase as compared to immature neutrophil whereas immature neutrophil will produces less amount of neutrophil alkaline phosphatase as compared to mature neutrophil neutrophil alkaline phosphatase is also known as leukocyte alkaline phosphatase so there will be increase in lab score of leukomyoid reaction and decrease in lab score of leukemia specifically we are talking about the leukemia of chronic myelocytic leukemia we are differentiating this leukomyoid reaction from the CML not two more thing to differentiate this leukomyoid reaction from the leukemia mature WBC cells in leukomyoid reaction they contain Stohl's body Dahl's Dahl's body is dilated endoplasmic reticulum WBC cells also contains toxic granules these toxic granules are produced in response to infection whereas in CML the WBC of CMLs does not contain does not contains doll's body 
and toxic granules the host body and toxic granules are absent in cml so now we can differentiate this leukomide reaction from the cml in leukomide reaction there is increase in lab score the host body toxic granules are present in wbc whereas in cml there is decrease in lab score and the host body and toxic granules are absent one thing more leukomide reaction responds to antibiotics since infection will subside if we give the antibiotics whereas cml does not responds to antibiotic since it is a cancerous condition it will not responds to antibiotic i think i am clear to you all so this was all about the leukomite reaction